First of all, I know y'all miss me. I miss y'all too, but we not here for all that. All off-colored people in anime are black. I'm talking about red people, black. Blue people, yellow people, black. Piccolo, green? No, black, nigga. That is a nigga. Nail, black, nigga. Picon is black. Come on, Kisame, black. Fishman Island, black. Hold on, but before I even get to Fishman Island and, and Kisame, let's start back with Piccolo. Piccolo is one of the most slept on black anime characters. Why? How, how many times have y'all seen Piccolo not be solid on every set? How many times? I'll wait. For all the niggas who really watch Dragon Ball Z, every movie this nigga Piccolo pulls up in the cleanest fashion ever, and he gets the fuck down. Super Android 13, nigga pulled up and got with Android 13 for a second. The nigga was gonna blast uh, Goku with the, with the uh, blast at the end? No, sir. Piccolo grabbed that nigga, pulled him back, and then took two elbows to the face. That's solid. That is solid. You know, a solid nigga don't gotta win the fight. He just gotta get out there and be solid, nigga. He can't fall. Not quick. He gotta get out there, finish his objective, and then, hey, anything possible after that, it don't matter. He finished it. That's solid. Nail, black, Kami? Bro, Kami is an old, wise black nigga. Come on. Think about it. Think about it. Nail, act like a nigga. PyCon, first of all, don't even get me started on PyCon. PyCon should have been in the Tournament of Power before Frieza. Why? Because PyCon was fighting a Super Saiyan 2 Goku in like the early, in early Dragon Ball Z, mid Dragon Ball Z actually. And you telling me he wouldn't be stronger now? They making everybody else fight with gods. Why would y'all not bring PyCon back and make him fight with a god? But I'm not going to get started on Super because Master Roshi didn't beat Tien. I don't know what the fuck going on no more. I don't know. But back to PyCon. PyCon had to make it to the most slept on black anime characters list because the man be Cell and Frieza with like one hit. Like come on bro, like this nigga needs a backstory or something. Like how in the world do we not know who killed this nigga? This nigga strong, hanging with Goku Super Saiyan 2, come on. So I had to put him on the list. And another person we got to put on the list is Afro Samurai. Not because Afro Samurai slept on me, because the world sleeps on Afro Samurai, the show. Like come on, the show, come on. Five episodes and about two movies, and it still told a beautiful ass story? And y'all sleep! It deserves more recognition than what it gets. Y'all just don't want to give it to it because y'all love to sleep on black people. Come on, you gotta wake up. Come on, man. And uh, now let's switch it up one more time. Jimbe. Come on, Jimbe. Come on, nigga. Jimbe. Nigga, Jimbe is one of the most loyal people, not even in the Straw Hats. He's more loyal than most of the Straw Hats. Like Zoro, it's Zoro, then Jembe in loyalty, bro. I promise you because this nigga Jembe, did he not get his chest blown out by Aikunu just to just to save Luffy? First time beating him at the war and fucking fighting Aikunu hand to hand for Luffy, nigga. Then when Luffy went crazy, who brought him back to reality? Jembe, nigga, stop it. Well, you can throw Usopp up there in most loyalty too. Usopp is kind of stepped on too, you know. I heard that Usopp can be considered a black nigga. He has, you know, black lips, black jerry curl hair. I'm, <laughs> hey, all color, he all color. I don't know what color this man is all the way, but we gonna, we gonna call him black. He slept on because, bro, he really not cold. I'm gonna be honest with you. They still sleeping on him uh, two years after niggas supposed to be cold now. This is the time skip. They, they gotta do something. So Jimbe has to make it to the most slept on list and the most solid list, because that man is motherfucking solid. He gave Luffy blood. And proceeded to give us one of the deepest messages in One Piece. Come on, man. Stop it. Stop it. And the man came back from unconsciousness. He came back alive while he was fighting Nike Luffy. Like, that man was about to die. Came back alive just to save Luffy. And niggas don't remember that because they, really, they don't really do this anime shit. Yeah, we do. I, I do. I really do it. We really do it. RDC World really does it. So, back to Usopp. I really don't know if he almost slept on or almost solid. This nigga just a black anime character. I will let you know that. He's black. And he down though, so I'm at the, I'm gonna throw him on solid just a little bit. I'm gonna get him on solid, all right? And all the fishmen, they're all black. Every one of the fishmen is black. These niggas got discriminated against the whole goddamn show. They speak out of turn and get shot. <laughs> come on, bro, what's going on? Nigga, that's too real. It's like, come on. If y'all can't tell me these niggas not black, bro. On life, they black. Now, Kisame, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to Naruto. Kisame, black. And he should be on most solid. And he should be on most slept on. Cause dude really couldn't be beat by nobody but God. As long as that's what CP be saying. My cousin who's wild as fuck. He say that motherfucking Kisame is the strongest in the show. Now before you just go ahead and like throw that to the side. The nigga is really hella cold. I don't think he's one of the strongest in the show. But he can basically absorb all types of chocolate. The nigga absorbed a tail beast bomb. Just in case y'all forgot. So Kisame is on the most solid black anime characters list. And most slept on. 
And he's black. I don't care if he's blue, nigga. For all y'all niggas who. Uh, well, I don't know if he's black. Stop it. Okay? The whole Lightning Village. They all need to be on the most solid list. They are hella cold, man. You already know. They they almost slept on too, uh. Nah, they not they not slept on. The Lightning Village not slept on. I'm gonna be real. But the Rakage shouldn't have lost to Sasuke. Or he shouldn't have got his arm cut off by Sasuke. I don't care. So we're gonna throw him a most slept on. Cause y'all slept on him in that fight. And that's on my life. Oh damn. Kakuzu, most solid list. That man fought Eno, Kakashi, Shikamaru, and Choji. And then Naruto had to jump in. That man solid. Come on. That man is solid. Most solid black anime character right there. He kind of slipped on too, low key. Because uh I don't man, I didn't want that nigga to just die that fast, man. They should've. Well he he was brought back in the war. He was brought back in the war. Maybe he not slept on. I'm just, I'm just throwing my most solid list for sure. Before I move to another series, I want to go back to Dragon Ball Z because I forgot Super and nigga Jiren, black. Come on. Topo, Topo, whatever that nigga name is, he probably black too. Like, they, man, they whole universe low-key black. So, why am I mentioning all these slept on slash solid black anime characters? Why? Because I feel like a lot of newcomers to anime think that there's not a lot of black people in anime. And I'm just letting y'all know that all the off-color people in anime are actually black. Like, if you really think about it, it's most of them. I want to say all of them, but 96% of anime characters that are off-colored in anime are black, man. You gotta just... Bear, like, when you watch a lot of anime, you will know. Not just the niggas who watch Super or Boruto. You gotta keep watching different ones. You'll see that they always represent black people by off-colored or they just make them black sometimes, but it's not that many just straight black people. But... I do want to mention some more black people, just for y'all. Mr. One, because I, I forgot that nigga in One Piece. That nigga is most solid, and he's straight black. They ain't even try to hide nothing. They ain't put no, no color on that nigga or nothing. This nigga fought Zoro and made us learn a whole life lesson. Made Zoro learn a whole life lesson anyway. Some honorable mentions are from Soul Eater. Keelik, I don't remember. I don't know if y'all remember that nigga. The nigga with the, uh, the electric fist and shit. Sid. They killed that nigga in episode 2, so he really slept on and then they turned them blue for the rest of the show. They racist. So he the racist. I don't care what they talking about. That don't make no sense. What you kill him on episode 2 for? Because he black. Then he turned him blue for the whole show. Come on now. Stop it. Uh, and Yoduichi, Bleach, black. Tolson, solid as a bitch. Yoduichi is solid as a bitch too. I, I just said her name like she's just a regular person. No, she really out there. Solid. She fought Ozzy at the end, so she one of the coldest. She probably can beat Tolson. I don't know. Yoduichi versus Tolson. That'd be a good ass fight, cause Tosin, he fought a captain and like three other niggas at once. So, but Tosin is hella solid. Yoduichi hella solid. So we're gonna put them on that list. Uh, Yoduichi is also on the slept on list, cause she don't be in the hella fights and she should be. But she kind of like uh, Kisuke, Udahara. You know, he don't be in fights all the time, and they be trying to chill. That they back in the day, niggas. They used to fight all back in the day, so that's probably why they don't want to jump in fights right now. Who else? Who else? Oh, Law. Law is black. I don't, well, he, he he can go either way. But the nigga got two hoop earrings in his so own. He can come to the black side if he want. We'll take him. Dang. That, that's that's really about it. That's all I wanted to do is really come through and talk about black anime characters. Because just in case they get discriminated against in their world, I'm going to go ahead and give them some shine over here, nigga. So if I forgot any black anime characters, just put them down in the comments below. And, you know, hey, let's just spread the black love. And white people, Indian people, Asian people, all y'all. It, this is for you too. I'm just highlighting black anime characters right now. But this is for y'all too. Y'all watch it too, unless you're racist and don't want somewhere. But we all love it, RDC World 1, baby. We love all kinds of people now. Come on, let's get it. Alright. RDC World 1. See y'all next time. After the credits, y'all the real ones as usual. But I need y'all to know that DreamCon is approaching fast. It is in August, August 10th through 12th. And yes, RDC World 1 is gonna be there behind it. Caleb City, King Vader, all the niggas is coming. Get your ticket now at www.dreamconvention.com. We really about it over there, man. Dream Convention is going to be live. It's gonna have gaming, it's gonna have anime comics, we're gonna have a dodgeball tournament. Like Come on, bro. Like, what is not live about that cosplay? Everything. It's gonna be as big as Comic Con. I promise that. Probably not first year, but next year's after that is gonna be as big as Comic Con. Bet money on it. What you wanna do? Follow Dream Convention on Instagram, on Twitter to stay up with the updates. 
and tell your friends about it, please. We want y'all to come to DreamCon. We want to have fun with y'all. Come on, we want to meet y'all. And uh, that's about it, baby. <laughs>